It's real valuable in, in, in uh, really in, in the area of helping the other guys who haven't been through, make sure that they understand how we do it and how we, you know, we approach this thing so that we can all be on the same page. It's, uh, the message is strong in the locker room. What do you like most about this group, where, where they are right now going into the postseason? Uh, just that mainly that we're comfortable with this opportunity and uh, the, the voices that, that really are strongest in, in the locker room are, are sending the message and helping guys understand how we're going to get through it and, and how we approach it and, and uh, like I said, so uh, I, I think that that's just the leadership that comes from within that really uh, helps us the most. Where does that show up maybe in the game? Well, hopefully it shows up in, in making decisions, uh, you know, along the way, which is, has to do with this week, during the week, and how we handle it and uh, uh, take care of our business and all, and then, and then in game time too, you know, we'll, uh, you know hopefully we'll, we'll keep our wits about us and play really sharp and uh, poised and, and take full advantage of our opportunities. What do you make over the last few years of the trend of Super Bowl teams actually kind of struggling entering the playoffs? Um, I think it's it's obvious why you know I think it's obvious just getting back and getting in contention. Um, I don't know if you mean that or just didn't when they get to the playoffs, but um, there's so much that goes on, um, win or lose, through that process of the, the Super Bowl um, year um, that factors in. It just it just factors in. It's unique. It's it's rare that guys get to have to deal with that stuff, and, and it's first time for a lot of players and, and coaches sometimes, and uh, it just has an effect that. It's obvious. I mean, it's statistically, it's it's there. The history's there for you, and uh, so um, I, I think that's what, what that's all about. You know, how to deal with it, and how to make sure that you don't let it get in the way, and uh, the things that are important and necessary, and all that to get back. I'm sorry, I should have clarified. Teams entering the playoffs, and then I'm really going to answer the one. Next question. Teams entering the playoffs have tended to struggle. You guys were two and two, I think, in December in 2013. Oh, so you're saying teams at the end of the season entering in? Yeah, and then end up making the Super Bowl despite not finishing the regular season all that well. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I, well, there's, there's, again, there's factors that, that uh, you know, come to the front. Like this year was a situation that we haven't had where we, we knew we were in the playoffs a few weeks ago, you know, and it's just it's a different different issue to deal with. And, and uh, you either deal with it well or you don't. And it, it may factor in, it may not. You know, I don't know that it's, it's so subjective. I don't know that it does. But it, it, there are things that go on. You know, as you're finishing the year, you can see it's all out there for you. And sometimes you can get distracted and not perform like you're capable. And all of a sudden you drop a game here, you drop a game there. Um, so, uh, like everything that's already happened doesn't matter at all. <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. You know, everybody wants to kind of project how it's going to go based on the finish. Um, you're, you're alluding to it, really, you can't tell. So it's how you deal with it now, how you go about your business, and then when it comes to game time, how you execute, and then how you handle the wins when you get a win in the playoffs and, and all that. So um, there's a lot going on right now. It's, 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 it's not all really clear you know, what the factors are.